All right, Bruce here. I'm going to give a recap of turn 16 before we get into turn 17. Here's a look at our income chart. As we can see, the USA has gone down a little bit. Uh, Germany up there at 67, US at 59, Japan at 42, the USSR at 43, uh, England at 28, Italy still at 10 and not in the war. Anzac's FEC at 9, KMT at 5, France at 5, and the CCP at 3. And look at the tech chart. Germany's completed 1, 2, 5, 8 of them already. Italy 3. Japan uh, 1, wartime economy, and they need improved construction and long range aircraft still. USA has only completed five, which is ridiculous, considering it had seven factories. Uh, they run away from improved construction and strategic rockets, which are the ones they need for their bonus points. Uh, as you can see here, some of the bonuses out there. KMT, Burma Road, CCP, territory next to Russia. The Russians have their three big cities. Uh, there's still a German sub out there. Japan has lost a couple things in China, and I'm going to go over what everybody has right now. All right, we're going to start over here on the West Coast. And look at that. The Japanese have ran havoc over there. They have destroyed the entire Pacific Ocean fleet. And they still have quite a few ships left. Uh, they're in no danger of losing any territory here up in as they got quite a few units up and down the coast. They could lose Alaska if they wanted, but uh, they have inside of Hawaii, there's one regular marine, two artillery, and four SNLFs, along with four transports, an export carrier. Uh, I think next turn, They're probably not going to invade anywhere over here. It's kind of a waste. They'll probably back off their, their navy. I'm looking at taking the Solomon Islands, which is, I believe, a victory condition down here. They're probably going to head back down this one. They maybe take and take Midway, leave some troops on Hawaii, build it up. It's going to take at least two turns for the USA to get over there. They have no transports. Uh no air transports either so there's not much going to happen there so they're probably going to pull back because what's happening over here is the ends actually built up and they actually took dutch new guinea last turn with their little fleet that's the lone american ship in the pacific destroyer out of new hebrews uh, and they're on their way towards the money islands they also have another two heavy cruisers they just laid down last turn and over here in China, the CCP and the Japs just keep battling back over Hopi over here. It's been a back and forth thing. Uh, the Japs have moved all their aircraft over here into northern China, into Rihi and Manchuria. Looking to take back some territory from the CCP and also the KMT, which is broken out. They don't have their huge force in, Bur in uh, Yunnan no more. Because what they did is they moved down to Shantung two turns ago. And then last turn they took Hong Kong back. Then they have a nice force in there of five mountain infantry, three artillery, a cavalry, and uh, one infantry. And with still a mountain infantry and an 80 aircraft gun in Shantung. So the Japanese are a bit thin. They have militia guarding, but that's about it. So... Next turn, who knows what's going to happen. Over here, the FEC, they finally got back stability now that the Japs have been thinned out a bit. They'll be trying to make a move back towards Malaya and Sumatra over here, probably. They do have one British transport in there that's came over from the Med. Uh, they're in no danger right here. Uh, South Africa, since the Italians are still not in the water, there's not much happening. The Brits have a little bit of a force down here, but not a lot. Infantry and artillery. They do have a colonial infantry up here along with a with a with a medium armor. Italians are still over here in Abyssinia. Oh, I got a fighter over there. 
in Aden, which I don't want to lose either. Eastern Egypt's in pretty decent shape with attack bomber. Uh, one, two, three, four, five r regular infantry and an artillery and an attack bomber. They have a minor factory there. The Italians have an okay force in Triple Tiny, and they also have a nice navy. And they have the only ships in the Med now, as the Americans have pulled out to Gibraltar over here. As they, what happened over here is on the Brits' turn, they decided to pay half the money, and the USA paid the other half, and, and England invaded Spain. Uh, Leon Castillo was a walk in. Then they invaded Oster Navaria with this force right here. So, I mean, they got a nice force there. Then the Americans dropped off two on their turn, and the Americans went out of. Uh, uh, right here, we had a. The uh, walk in there by the uh, Britain, and the Americans walked in here. I don't know why they're in a troop. There's got to be a troop there. Oh, I know where it was. This guy was there. Because I dropped off two airborne using those two elite uh, strategic bombers. Two regular infantry I dropped off. Uh, and we blitzed into uh, the mountain territory. I forgot to remove the uh, German guy. And he's gone. So that's what Spain looks like. It's been totally taken over by the Allies. Because uh, the Germans are actually starting to struggle a bit. Americans really don't have much more forces over here. They, only, they have their transports and a few infantry. Uh, they had to lay most of it down on the west coast last turn after the in, fleet was wiped out in the uh, Pacific Ocean in San Francisco Bay. <laughs> over here, the Brits still have a decent force in England ready to go. And they can keep shuttling troops back and forth off of that spot. It's only two to get back. And I, I come up this way. I'll move troops over to here into the British Midlands out of London. Uh, what else do we got? This is what happened over here. The Russians broke out. They broke out of Moscow and Leningrad and basically wiped out almost the entire German army that was in the Eastern Front. They have basically nothing left but a tank destroyer, a mech infantry, some militia. They have their Luftwaffe left that's in uh, Romania, but a lot of it is back towards Germany. And they have a force down here in Yugoslavia, but the, the uh, also, yeah, they have that Luftwaffe right there, which is in uh, Kiev. Yes, they are in Kiev. And luckily they moved before because this is the force of uh, Russians coming. Those are the two Russian armies stationed in Moscow and in Moral Kursk. And they still have some troops up here over in uh, northern Belarus. Northern Belarus, where they have one, two, three, seven infantry and an artillery with a medium armor behind it. Uh, and they still have four infantry in Leningrad, so there's no danger there of losing that. Uh, Germans are on their heels here a little bit. So, that's where we're at at the end of turn 16. Trying to get this wrapped up so I can set up for the next YouTube game. No. No time to die, and also I want to clean my board off, as I noticed yesterday when I moved my my boards that have been here a while. I can see a little coloring on the on the line here from the dust, so you can see some dust over here, dirt on the board. I want to get that all cleaned up before we start the next game. So hopefully I'm going to get this going. Uh, I haven't tallied the points at the current moment. At the end of this next turn, turn 17. We'll start our variable die ending uh, our roll, so we'll see how it goes. Like I said, a lot happened in the last two turns, especially I was very surprised. The rolling was horrible here for the U.S. I mean, they uh, they had a lot of forces there. They had four jet fighters, uh, two battleships, two fast battleships. You know, the hittings were like three to one. It wasn't even close, and the Japs didn't even bring a lot of planes, so... 
you know, just bad. It's been that way for the whole game for them. Because, I mean, as you can see, five tech rolls after 17 turns is, is not very good with seven factories. So, anyway, that's how this game goes sometimes. The dice rolling uh, has a lot to do with it sometimes, which is fun, which makes it fun. So, alrighty, this is Bruce wrapping up turn 16 recap. And hopefully I can get another one in a turn or two. And I'll see you guys.